Hey y'all, Shell here. Um, I had a bit of an emergency last night with one of my chickens. Um, she came down with what's called ascites, which is also known as water belly. She has a condition in her heart that's causing her liver to leak fluid into her abdomen. And she's very, very full. I've not done this before, so I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video or how it's gonna go. But if I do post it, um, I'll show you what I'm using and see how this goes. So we went with 16 gauge short needles from Tractor Supply. We couldn't find a 20 gauge. 14. 14, sorry. We found 18, 20, and 16. And 16 is the larger. That way it will drain out. 18 would be best. 14. 14. See, if my brother wasn't here to tell me the numbers, I'd mix them all up. Then these are two ounce um, lure lock syringes, 60 cc. And then for cleaning her before I start, I've got alcohol and I've got, um, yep. Iodine. Iodine, thank you. You want to make sure that they're clean. I mean, obviously they don't intend to be nasty, but they are a nasty animal, very unhygienic. So we want to make sure she's clean. And then I don't want to hurt her too much. This is something I did when I had in vitro and had to do a lot of shots. I will rub a little bit of Ambisol on the spot that I'm going to inject her before I clean it. So I'll do that now. That way it has a minute to get numb. Now, ideally, we want to go into the lowest part of the right side, which will be about here. You go into the right so you don't miss, you don't hit any of their internal organs. All their internal organs are on the left side of their body. You can see by looking at her just how big her stomach is right now. I feel so bad for her. So we'll put these down here. And my daughter-in-law Emmy is helping me. She is a godsend. I'm gonna hold her. That way I can keep control of her while I do this. And I'm going to have her facing this way. And Emmy's going to be controlling the actual syringe while I control the needle. Come here, Maisie. Maisie is a year and a half old Lavender Orpington. Who's had just a really tough go of her health. You can see that from the stretching, she's got these sores that have formed. So we're going to try to go about there. This side? That's this side. Yep. Right there. Look at all that. I'd put her head in that side of your armpit yeah. instead of this side. No, because she needs to go this side. We need it then. Like that. So she doesn't have as many. She's got a little bit there. There we go. A little bit of. See that? That's where the skin has stretched. I thought that was the ambisol. Mm -mm. That's where the skin has stretched, and she's drained some on her own. So are you going to go in through that point? No, I don't want it because that would cause a risk of infection. So I'm probably going to go around right here. Where did you put the ambisol? I rubbed it all there. Okay, here we go. Let's sanitize your gear. typically feisty but she doesn't feel good so it would probably be wise to cover her big old wings. I know. Come here. There we go. I think it might be there first. Oh, okay. first. Oh. And 
if you did poker, it's going to just come straight out that the end of the needle. Yeah. It's better yeah, to have it on the sure, syringe. Sure. All right. see any blood or pink, stop immediately. Wait, stop. There was blood. Damn. And it wants to leap, but she's bleeding too. Maybe you went a little bit too low. Maybe. I hate to do this to you. I hate poking more than once. Did I go too low or did I go too high? You ready, honey? I'm sorry. I think you're moving the needle too much. You think so? Yeah, because it kept going in and out. Alright. Like as soon as you go in, you need to hold that the end of that needle. So okay. Of course, I apologize for any mistakes or mess or cursing, but unfortunately, like I said, Stop. this is the first time we've done this. Yeah, hold Pull. the hold the needle, you twist. Have to twist. It twists. It twists. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Never mind, he's not here. Emmy, you hold the camera, and I'll have Michael get some pliers real quick. And then what we can do is um, let it drain. We need pliers. We can't get it undone. Pliers. We're trying to undo the lure lock. Needles stuck on the syringe. <laughs> so see bloopers. This is a lot of fluid. Careful, we don't want the needle moving around. Okay. I know, honey, you're doing so good. Oh, she's getting upset. She's getting all red. Hmm. There we go. And then I think we should let it drain. Here, hold on. Do you think if you lightly push on her abdomen? No, that seemed to stop it when I did that. Would it be Here. best if we just don't twist it? Mm -hmm. It has got a very steady flow. Just let it flow for a little bit. It's gonna flow, just let it flow. This is a lot less clear. But she is a lot fuller than that one was that we watched on the video. I think the faster we do this, the better it is for her because she's in so much distress. Yeah, she's very stressed out. I mean, I think it'd probably be faster if you just do a syringe over and over again. All right. Yeah. 
and then maybe see if we can we do it without locking it. We can. Go ahead. I don't care. We do have the pliers, so. Okay, I'll hold it. So. Now, it's important that I mention that we were told that we want to be careful not taking out too much because you can put them in shock. Um, so, there's really a delicate balance of how much you take out. The last video I watched, the woman took out 60 cc's off that chicken it was a lot and that chicken looked less swollen than her but this is the first time doing this to her so at the same time I don't want to stress her out but she's not been able to walk or get up or anything And it's supposed to be fairly immediate with them feeling better, so I guess we'll see. We go. And I hope that this is not something that we'll have to do on many chickens. Now, this is not going to save her life. This will buy her more time, but it will not it'll resolve. It'll make it easier while, she, while she's still here. Right. Exactly. Fine. She won't suffer. It'll give her more time. Um, and it's sad because she's one of my alphas. I think that as much as we're taking out now, we've taken out about, with where I'm stopping, 65 each time. Yeah. There we go. Plus, what's consistently draining out of her when I stop is probably another five. Yeah. Between three to five. It's important to mention that this seems like something that you can't do alone. Pictures and towels. Towels can be washed. I watched a lot of people doing this without gloves. I recommend wearing gloves. It there's doesn't have any smell. Yeah, there's no smell, which is great. There's no smell. There's no... And she's acting quite calm, which is great. You can see that she's calming down a lot more now. Yeah. In the beginning, I think we moved a lot, and then the issue of poking her, and... Now she's just getting the relief from the pressure. Yeah. Relaxing a bit. You can tell by looking at her skin that she had a number of points where the skin was close to rupturing. She was so big. You know, and my girls are are fairly healthy, robust girls, and so sometimes it can be difficult to notice that drastic swelling. Almost. I'm a very lucky person. It's not often that you have a daughter-in-law. Willing to help you do everything. She's even stuck her finger up a chicken's cup before for me. My son wouldn't do that. The one I married or the one I didn't marry? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the first time I've been so up close and personal with chickens. But just being here in this short while, I've learned a lot about how... They're just, just weird. They're weird, but they're they're very sweet. I didn't understand how many issues chicken chickens had. Oh before. yeah. I thought chickens were just like disease free. No, no, no. They are so prone to so many different problems. I see that now. Especially when you have as many as we do, it kind of ups your odds of seeing a bunch of stuff. But again, these are animals that are every day going through reproductive stuff 
hens laying eggs every day and trying to hatch eggs and they're producing a ton of eggs at the same time. Their bodies are very stressed out. Do you think the other hole is leaking at all? Um, I think it might be a little bit, but not too bad. It'll probably stop when she can enough the pressure off it. Yeah. And I noticed she's a lot thinner already. Not not enough, but she's thinner. <laughs> ladybug, we don't need your help. My pit bull ladybug is very concerned. She loves them. It seems like I'm it seems like I'm needing a lot more <coughs> resistance. resistance. And it's not good. Let's go ahead and take it out then. Not take it out, but take this the syringe off. And let it Not, drain. Yeah, and we'll see if it's see how much it's draining. I think once it slows down coming out on its own. Yeah, see? I think maybe for now. That should be good for the first time. Yeah. Then maybe you take out too much. I don't think so. She's no. acting pretty good. Are we going to do anything else besides draining wise here? No, we'll clean her up a bit. I mean, that's that's a lot, but it's not not as much as I thought. It does kind of look like orange juice, doesn't it? The forbidden orange juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, that's a that's a lot different. We might have taken out a bit much. I think she's all right. So what we'll do is. Before I take the syringe or the needle out, I'm going to get the other, oh, it's down there, and the iodine, and the other, can you grab the other pad for me? Yeah. yeah. Next time you'll want to go down lower. Yeah, I think so. Like down there with that. I started a little Just low, like but I was worried down, I like went there. too low. And they say that this you know, if you do it right, you only have to do it every couple months. So I don't know if I did it right, obviously. And we'll find out. I mean, she she's looking so much better already. Are we disposing of this now? Yes. We have a whole lot of Hi, honey. And we'll try to give her some extra nutrition. And hopefully she can go back out with the flock soon. And then she sort of rinse and repeat. She's not even bleeding. That's good. Do you want to introduce any of the supplements you're going to give to her? Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely give her some Nutri-Drench. She has not been eating or drinking because of how she feels. So I'm going to give her some Nutri-Drench. I'm going to give her some... Uh, she looks kind of purple. Is that okay? Yeah. She's coming down from being red. And there's, she's very bruised from all the excess fluid. Look at all these spots that tried to bust. So now we should just keep an eye on all the chickens mm -hmm. in this area. Yep. Scratch for bloating. Yep. I'm going to give her some Enfamil baby vitamins. I'm going to give her some, uh, yep. Okay, let me go grab some of that stuff. There's some stuff that I still need to get that I researched. A lady was talking about, it started with a D. D Dane. D Y D Y N E. D Dine. D Y N E. Um, I, I don't have that on hand. I'm gonna get some. I'm sure they have it at Tractor Supply. If not, I can order it. Um, but that is supposed to um really help with this, and I'll do some more research into that. Um, but she's she seems to be doing all right. No, she's, she's like drooling out of her mouth. Yeah, she's stressed out a little bit. She's all right. She's alert. She's more alert than she was. She wasn't looking around before. My baby. She's standing better? Not on my uncomfortable legs, but we'll see if she does. She wasn't standing at all before, so we'll see if she can stand any better. I'm going to give her some time. And then here is the... Yeah, this is the, Infamous. you want to get the iron free. You don't ever give them the regular with the iron. Um, this is in a green bottling packaging, um, but that's Infamil. Um, this one? Just a few drops normally is good enough. This is Nutri-Drench. This uh, does quite a lot for them. Um, it helps with any dehydration problems. It's got quite a lot of um, vitamins. It's got your lysine, your uh, methionine calcium, 
vitamin A, D3, and E. So it's uh, it's really good. It's a rapid response medication. It should be in everybody's med kit. This is metastatin. This is actually an antibiotic. It's a, in humans, they call it nystatin. Um, should she end up with any sort of infection, I'll give her this. Um, that's kind of expensive, so I try not to give it if I don't have to. So, but that's, that's where she's at for now. Oh, she's so tired. I know, honey. Do you want to give her a band-aid? I don't think she needs a band-aid. She's actually doing pretty good. I'm surprised at how well she's doing. I mean, it's, she's doing really good. Do you want to try to sit her down or stand her up and see what she does? I don't think she feels good. I think she's probably going to lay right back down, but... Let's see how you do. Oh, that's a pose. There we go. What do you think, sweetheart? Right. She doesn't want to lay down. It's better than what she was. We should make an update of when she starts, yep. like, post-op. I'm, I'm wondering if we did drain enough, and if not, then we may have to go back in and take more in a couple days if she doesn't show improvement, but, um... Don't let her ever get that bad again, though. Yeah, that should never be in her stomach. How much do you think that is? Right there. I'll have to remeasure it, but... Five. This is... Two ounces. Um, I would say that's probably ten or twelve. Plus what drained out. No, oh, honey, girl. She already seems a lot less... Down. And yeah, she's becoming went. more aware. She's more alert, more. for sure. Um, we'll see how she does, and if um, if we have to take more out, then we will. She's definitely not wanting to lay on the right side. Left. Or the left side. I do know my left from right, I swear. Do you? <laughs> yep. But anyways, I will update how she does, and if I have to drain more fluid, and... Um, We'll see how she does, see if we can keep her with us a little longer. And uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your animals are all fine. I hope your families are all fine. Have a great Thanksgiving, and as always, I'll win.